All right. Hello, friends. How are you today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here with your daily horoscope for March 18th. It is Monday, starting the week off strong. The moon is in Leo. Now, what is the ruling planet of Leo? Just so we know, planet literally means wanderer. That's what planet translates to, is wanderer. The things that wander in the sky, right? The stars are fixed. But the planets wander. So although the sun is a fixed star, because Earth revolves around the sun, because the astrology here is about Earth's perspective. It's astronomy with Earth's perspective, because this is where we live, on Earth. All right. So, according to astrology, the sun moves. You know, as the Earth moves. It's you know what I mean. So obviously the sun doesn't move. But let's get back to the point. So the ruling planet, the ruling wanderer of Leo, is the sun. Okay. So, what does the sun do? The sun shines bright always. The sun never dims its light. It doesn't matter if we drank too much yesterday on St. Patrick's Day and we're just shrouding it out. It doesn't matter. The sun's going to shine bright, all right? And it gives life to all the food, allows the plants to grow, gives some serotonin and vitamin D into the body. Yeah, it's good, healthy for the brain. So the sun provides for us. Now, if the sun were to die, everything on this planet dies with it. Well, just about everything on the planet. Certainly human life does. A lot of the plants wouldn't grow. I'm sure there'd be some insects or something, some bacteria that would thrive. Um, but either way, you, you get the point. You know, if the sun were to die, if the sun no longer existed, the sun no longer served us, we'd be in trouble, right? So Leo energy, Leo energy is where the moon is today. All the way until about 9 o'clock tonight. Leo energy is the fire. It's the hearth that keeps on burning. It's the, it's the light that doesn't dim, right? If you know Leos, you know, a healthy Leo, healthy balance of the ego. All right? Healthy balance of the ego saying, I can, you know. Was it, is it the little engine that could? I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I can. I can, I can persevere. I can make it through this. I can lead Leo the leader. Mm -hmm. The leaders. So we have a, a healthy Leo, a healthy ego energy is saying, yes, I can do this. I can pick up the slack. I can make these moves. Whatever it is, I can do it. I can, I can be, you know what? You need a, a star of the show. I can do that, right? And who's the director? Of course, that would be the Aquarian. The conductor, the director, standing back, observing. <laughs> That's where Venus is, right? We talked about that a bit yesterday. You know, these, these energies saying, well, I've been here before. Do I want to be the person out here in the bullpen doing this, or do I want to kind of sit back and orchestrate things? So as, as this um, Venus energy is in forward-thinking, community-driven, technology-advanced, loving technology, right? Community-driven. And the moon is in Leo until about 9 o'clock. And then where's it going? It's going to Virgo. Service. Okay. Virgo is saying yes or no. And how to provide a service. A lot of a hospitality, nurses, doctors, uh, healthcare practitioners, Reiki healers, massage therapists have a lot of Virgo in their chart. Generally. All right. These are the natural healers of the world. So we can take this Leo, this fire energy... And we've been transforming everything. We've been talking about this all, you know, past two weeks. That energy is shifting. You know, the sun is moving in the later degrees. If you, if you know your chart, if you have stuff in the later degrees of anything right now, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really, really, really intense. Uh, literally everything is between like 20 and 27 degrees. You know, so we have what we have um, Jupiter and Sagittarius at like 23 degrees. Then we have Saturn up here in Capricorn at 18, 19 degrees. Pluto is at 22 degrees Capricorn. Then we move over to Aquarius. Venus is there around 20 degrees right now. Okay. Then we move into Pisces. We have Neptune at 16 degrees. We have Mercury retrograde moving backward at 20 degrees right now. The sun at 27 degrees in Pisces. These are all the outer outer other people signs okay so we have so much energy focused then on the community on others now what is in you know in aries so 
Uh, Chiron just moved out of Pisces into Aries. Chiron is the wounded healer, right? First dealing with our psyche, then it's going to be dealing with our physicalities, you know? Am I good enough? Am I strong enough? Am I smart enough? Maybe I need to change something about me. Maybe I need to change my name, change my face, my hair, my look, my attitude, whatever, you know, to, to attract the people. And it's just like, okay, we need to heal this concept. And it's like, you are good enough just as you are. That Uranus and Aries for the past seven years should have been, you know, should have been setting you free. This rebelliousness to set you free of these kind of concepts. So now we're moving forward to truly heal those things, Chiron is, right? And then we have Uranus just moved out of Aries into Taurus. And then we have Mars at the at later degrees, uh, 20, 21, 20 degrees right now. 20 degrees today, 20 degrees today. So it's squaring Venus. You know, community driven, and then this is like what I, you know, Venus. Venus rules Taurus, so it's fun that Venus is up here, in Aquarius, future thinking, right? Community driven, bigger picture, focusing on the bigger picture, and not necessarily where we're at, but where we're going. It's what Venus wants and loves and desires. And where is Venus headed to? The place where she's exalted right now. She's moving into. Pisces. Pisces is where Venus loves to be because you cannot limit love. You cannot limit this, but we're not quite there just yet. So the point of bringing this up, so Venus is going to be squaring Mars and Mars is in the ruling planet of, or the ruling sign of Venus, which is Taurus. The things that we want, love and desire in life. Okay. And Uranus is in there. Traditions, values, money, so we're transforming these things, transforming these concepts and the ideas, really focusing on the bigger picture, the community at large. And it's like, well, what good does all of this, Leo, what good does this fire energy do me if it's not put into service for others? Ah, full spectrum. Everything comes into focus here for the day, right? Because this is what's happening. This Leo energy, we're getting fired up, fired up. Where can we do with this? What can we do with all this goodness? You know, you're an actress or you're a model. Oh my God. You know, I want all eyes on me. Well, what, what good does that do you? Can you use that? Can you use that energy? I work with a lot. You know, I work in the film and TV industry and some of my absolute favorite people, I'll, I'll just hands out say Jane Seymour, working with her years ago was one of my favorite actresses I've ever got a chance to work with. She is such an activist. She's so like involved in helping other people. She's so involved uh, in the community. I actually don't know what her chart is. For some reason I think she's a Pisces because I remember she had a, she painted a picture while we were working together of two koi fish. I'll have to look her up. Um, either way, you know, so it's like using that celebrity power, using that, that pull. She attracts a lot of people and she deserves to because she's a pretty incredible human being. And she's using that for the good. You know, that Mother Teresa kind of energy. Like, let's say, let's use this for good. Don't invite me to an anti-war rally, but I'll go to a pro-peace rally. Right? Are these the same thing? Mm -mm, they're not. One is against, and what you resist persists, and one is promoting, one is for something. So we want to be moving toward, right? This is Venus and Aquarius. We want to be moving toward this stuff in the community, this future thinking stuff in the community that's going to help others. And to know to know wholeheartedly inside and out that we have the fire, that we have this fire that can light the world, not light the world on fire, just light, light up, to light, you know, to shine light into the darkness, to shine light, to change perspectives on things. So that's pretty amazing. And it's literally gearing us up the next couple of days to this big full moon on Wednesday, right? So it's going into, you know, moons moving into... Virgo tonight around 9 p.m. And we've got a couple days in Virgo, then at 9 p.m. on Wednesday, full moon on the equinox. It hasn't happened in a long time, won't happen again for another 11 years, I think is what it is, 2030, somewhere around there. There's a big week ahead of us, starting off strong on Monday. How can we use our energy? How can we use our fire to be a service to others, right? I'm sure you figured it out. We'll see you tomorrow. Have an amazing Monday. We'll see you then.